So we have this fundamental, it appears, length scale in the universe, 10 to the minus 35 meters of Planck length, unimaginably small. How could you picture that? Well, well, take a proton. So a proton is pretty unimaginably small, I think, to, to most people, although it's pretty big in particle physics terms. We have maps of the, of the interior of the proton, the constituents of the proton that we use in particle physics experiments. So it's kind of a big world, a proton. But if you take a proton and expand it to the size of our solar system, so imagine that, the nucleus of a hydrogen atom, and you imagine expanding that to the size of our solar system, out to the, to the orbit of Neptune, then something that's the Planck length would extend or expand to, uh, let's say, a virus or a living cell. So the ratio in size between the Planck length and a cell, which we can just about see under a microscope, is the same ratio as a proton to the solar system. So it's, it's, it's unimaginably small. 